This is the new Alps and Evergreens update from Origin Realms. In it, we have fir trees, we've got new maple trees, orange and red, and we've even got a new mob. We're starting with the grizzly bear. <laughs> this guy is horrifying, and uh, they're naturally aggressive to you. He's gonna he's gonna chase after me a little bit, unless ah ah. Don't attack, please! Before we begin, all the content you're seeing today is created by a 1.18.1 vanilla server called Origin Realms. You can join with the IP on screen now, or find a link with more info in the description below. The only way to stop him from attacking you is with this honeycomb. And as you can see, he's not aggressive to me as I'm holding it. But if I right click, he also starts to eat it. Look at this, look at him, he's so happy. He loves it so much, it covers his hands, it covers his mouth, he's very happy with it. And you can actually breed two of them to make a baby bear. Unless they're asleep, why? Why are you asleep, bro? If you feed two of them with salmon, you can get a baby bear, but apparently this one doesn't want to. He keeps shaking his head at me. <laughs> Go over here, buddy. Go over there, there's there's a bear friend right there. Create baby bear, this is beautiful. The miracle of life, there he is. And if you feed him with honeycomb, this guy's now friendly. Oh, look at this. Look how small this boy is. This guy's friendly to me now. He's a, he's a happy bear, As, or I guess a, a sad bear, as you can kind of see from his face. And he's asleep, great. Oh, I'm sorry, what did I do? I am i didn't mean to, friend, ah! Oh gosh, and if you walk up to them, they just, they roar at you. They want to make sure that you know that they are aggressive and they don't want you in their space. They are, they are not happy about it. <laughs> oh, he's so aggressive, he's, he's not happy with me being here, hey. Hey friend, hey, 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 can you not? Do you wanna catch some fish in the lake? You can do that, you can catch some things for me. In addition to all these behaviors, they also can jump into the water and catch salmon, and they can dig out loot, so if you want to, you can have one sticking around your base and they'll just dig out loot from the water for you, for free, it's amazing. You can find these grizzly bears in the foothills of the new mountains biome, and they're pretty common, and you're gonna wanna watch out because they're aggressive, so <laughs> be very careful. Speaking of the mountains, you've got three layers, the foothills, the middle layer, whatever that's called, and and the snow-capped peaks. Throughout the mountains biome, you can find all sorts of natural resources like fir trees, which have two different types of custom leaves, which are, you know, actual full custom leaves. These guys drop saplings and everything. They're amazing. And you can even find something like this, the hot springs. Uh, you can find a bunch of calcite here and little pools of water. And I guess you can also find ruined portals out here. Who would have thought? Look at all this calcite. My gosh, there's so much here. There's so much calcite. This is amazing. This, I love calcite reserves. This is gonna be so helpful. For builders. With these fir trees comes this, a whole new wood type. And look how beautiful it is. It's a nice dark brown with a little bit of like purple tones to it. It is wonderful. And you can strip the logs and those look even better too. It's amazing. It's a really beautiful wood palette and I really like it. I incorporated it into my house. If you want to see how I did that, check out my recent res Risk of Reset episode. I can't talk because that was a lot of ours. <laughs> hey there, if you like this little balloon behind me, you should subscribe to the channel. It's totally free and that subscribe button doesn't need to be red. It needs to be great. It'd be great if you wanted to do that. I would really appreciate it. Plus, I got new videos like this coming out all the time. So, uh, if you want to, subscribe. See you soon. Do -do 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 -do. There's bears there. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Another great feature of the mountains is this, the generated structures. This is one of them. There's an illusioner cabin, and uh, sometimes they have illusioners in them, but apparently this one's empty. Uh, cool discs. Thanks. <laughs> if you look hard enough, you can also find these, ruined castles, and they are so beautiful. These guys spawn kind of in the middle layer, and uh, you can find them whenever you're wandering around the mountains. Apparently someone's been living in this one kind of cool. But those structures in this new wood type aren't all we've added. We've also gone ahead and created some new tree stuff. And by tree stuff, I mean maple trees. Look at how beautiful these are. Also, look, it's a little farm. It's so cute. But look at these trees. It's incredible. Hello, turkeys. How's it going? I made a video about you. But just look at this place. It's so beautiful. And there's red trees. There's orange trees. Both of them are technically maple trees. And with the maple trees, you get maple wood. This maple wood is a full wood type with planks, with card versions of it. You got the stripped and the normal log. You've got all sorts of types of wood with this, and it is beautiful. Look at these red tones. It is so nice. Perfect for all your new building needs. But Narfi, you may be asking, what if I want those custom trees in my own world? Well, you can actually get the saplings from these trees, and you can grow them with bone meal, or they'll just grow on their own, but I'm growing with them with bone meal so you can see them. Look at this. It's beautiful. That's convenient that both of them are orange. That was not planned. You can get both the green types and orange types of the fir trees, and you get the red and orange types here. As you can see over there, I have the red one. 
ones. I think you're missing out on some things because you're not in my Discord. If you are in my Discord, thanks. This ad's not for you. But if you're not in my Discord, come check out the Discord. It's a link in the description. I post thumbnails there before the videos are released. And there's all sorts of cool stuff. I hang out with people there. It's a great time. So come check it out. Link in the description. It's going to be awesome. Another new, very exciting piece of this update is that Origin Isles has been completely overhauled to look a little bit more beautiful than the snow, I guess. Uh, and we've got a couple extra quality of life features like these balloon signs, and you get this new foresty area. Instead of the old spruce forest, you've got a new beautiful fir forest, and you've got a mysterious new NPC here named Badger, who uh, talks to you about something, uh, but you just can't see my chat for now. But he, he chats to you about something. He's pretty cool. He's got some sort of neat functionality, hopefully sometime in the future. Also, don't tell anyone I told you this, but Yogi Bear's here, and he's, he's freaking adorable. Everything is nice, lush, and green, and beautiful, and we've even got some new cosmetics to go along with it. You may have seen one floating behind me this entire episode. If you hop into the cosmetic shop, you can see a whole new button in the menu called balloons, and you can see the new five different balloons. I only have this one unlocked, but there's another one like this you can see here. You've got a little floating orbit, and you can do other things like a little floating hot air balloon. Look at it, it's so cute, and you even have a giant donut balloon. It's incredible. But for now, I just have the regular rubber balloon and honestly, I kind of like the simple rubber balloon. I think it looks great. Hey man, if you really like my content, the best way that you can support me is by becoming a member. There's three different levels of it, all different perks, and I think you would really enjoy it. So please, today, consider becoming a member. It would be really, really helpful for me, and it encourages me to make more content and amazing content in the future. So please become a member. There's a join button right behind the subscribe button, and you should, uh, you should, uh, you should do that. You should click that. It'd be great. Thanks. See you soon. Arguably one of the coolest features of the server is this guy, Gorf, and he is, uh, He's a strange one because he'll bottle up experience for you for 50 rubies. So notice I have 63 levels down there in my hotbar. If I go ahead and talk to him a couple times here, he will take that bottle, the empty glass bottle that I gave him, and drop me a bottle of bottled experience. As you can see, it's got experience points, and when you drink this, you'll get exactly the same number of levels back that you gave him. He's a weird one, but he's definitely useful. Also, ignore the fact that I lost all my armor and now have 9,000 rubies somehow, and also 63 levels. It doesn't matter, no one cares, it's totally fine. It's, it doesn't, nothing, nothing happened. Shh. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the entirety. Not the entirety. Going back and doing that again. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is a zombie in the background. Hi, okay, I'm gonna take care of him first. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a lot of the new update. If you wanna see more about the update, you can read the blog post that's linked down in the description or check out the patch notes on Discord. It's a great place. Or you could just join the server and come hang out. Also, check out this new house. It's beautiful. Check out my recent Risk of Reset episode if you wanna see how I built it. It's a beautiful place. All right, and with that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.